Or maybe it was Richie was singing first. I don't know. <laughs> I watched it like so many times. Anyway, the first line、mm-hmm. was Musko san wa chu san de juken ben kyo shite ta. And then the second, okay, second line was Yashoku no cup noodle. お母さんが忘れた。And then the last one, last line, 息子さんは拗ねた。Mm-hmm. So, the first line, 息子さんは中三で受験勉強してた。So, 息子さん、do you know what 息子さん means? Yeah, 息子 is somebody else's son. 息子さん。Right. Yeah, if you add son, that's、mm-hmm. uh, somebody else's son. But if you say musko, it's your own. Right. And then musume. Right. Musume, daughter, your、mm-hmm. own daughter. But if you add son, because it's polite,、uh, musume san, somebody else's daughter. And you could say、um, musko san tachi. Yeah. So there's more than one. Yeah. Musko san tachi. Or if it's your own, you know, they are your own son,、mm-hmm. then, Musko Tachi.、Mm-hmm. So, Musko san, somebody else's son.、Uh, Musko san wa, so this, he's talking about some other、mm-hmm. uh, people's son, so not his own. Musko san wa, Chu san de. Chu san? Do you know Chu san? It is not easy when you are only beginning. Yukiko writes slowly and carefully. Taro, too, is still very cautious, but he handles the brush well as he completes the last character of the name for Japan. From top to bottom, it reads Dai Ni Pon, meaning Great Sun's Origin, or as we say, Japan. It's a short, short for Chugaku San Nense. Oh. Chugaku, junior high, junior、mm-hmm. high school. San Nense, this Nense means、uh, year. Yeah, year student.、Mm-hmm. So, San Nense, the third year, the, the third final year. year.、Mm-hmm. So, that'd be eighth grade here. Okay, if you right. So, Chu San is short for Chugaku San Nense,、uh, third year in junior high. And Musko san wa Chu San, so now he's describing. You know, his age,、mm-hmm. you know, what year he's in. So, Musko san wa chu san de juken ben kyo shite ta. Juken ben kyo, you know, ben kyo. Ben kyo, study.、Right, study. Uh, juken. Juken means、uh, taking an exam. Okay. So, if you add suru,、mm-hmm. it will become a verb. Juken suru, to take an exam. But juken、uh, is a noun. So, juken benkyo, it's a compound word, juken benkyo. So, basically, studying、mm-hmm. for the exam, entrance exam. In this case, because in Japan, after junior high, right, we talked about to, that. Right, you have to take、um, entrance exam to get into、uh, not college,、uh, high, school. high school, right.、Mm-hmm. So, you have to study really hard if you're、mm-hmm. in the final year of junior high, chu san.、Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, Chu san de, so therefore he was studying. Juken benkyo shite ta. So means, benkyo shite ta means was studying.、Mm-hmm. So he was studying for the exam. And next line, Yashoku no cup noodle, o ka san ga wasure ta. Yashoku. It says, Yeah, another like, compound word I, I should say. Yeah, this is in kanji, it's yoru.、Mm-hmm. Yoru also we pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. Yoru or ya,、yeah, which means night.、Mm-hmm. So, and shoku, we use this kanji, taberu, like shokuji or. So, night times. Like night time meal or、mm-hmm. yeah, a late snack. night snack. That's ya shoku.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ya shoku. Taberu. We don't read it because we got to be r e a d i n g Uh oh. I just lost my microphone, so. Excuse the noise. Alright. <laughs> There we go. So, Yashoku. So, 
you know, if you stay up late studying, choose mm-hmm. some, right? Um, you have to take some. Then you get hungry, so that's when we eat yashoku. Okay. And cup noodle is a very popular one because it's easy, you know. Okay. So, okay. And yashoku no cup noodle, okaasan ga wasureta. What's okaasan? Mom. Mom. So his mom. Forgot. Forgot. Wasureta. Wasureta. I forgot. So in this case, okaasan ga wasureta. So it's mom who forgot about his. Yashoku no cup noodle. Okay. And then the last one, uh, Musko san wa suneta. So again, Musko san, so now it's back to his, uh, the son. Musko mm-hmm. san wa suneta. This is not a very common word, but um, suneta, it comes from suneru. Mm-hmm. Uh, suneru means like uh, you get upset or to. This is to be peevish. Okay. Or to, to be peeved. Yeah. Like to, a, to be mad or upset. <laughs> like, pout. Right. Okay. So, because obviously he was probably, he was waiting for his cup of noodle. Mm-hmm. But then mom forgot. So he's like, Musko okay. san wa suneta. All right. So that's why he was singing. But it sounds like he was singing, though. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was him. No. But no. <laughs> so. This so, is a very well, close sound alike. Yeah. So we'll, we'll watch it here in a second. Hi. <laughs> We're going to run out of time. It was, uh, I'm sorry. No, no. It's, it's a funny, funny uh, spot. So let's take a look here and see what you guys think of Bon Jovi <laughs> singing about cup noodles. So that's your favorite Bon Jovi. Yay! <laughs> it's fun. It's really funny. Very cool. Mm. Did we talk about where it came from? No, I can't remember. Cup noodle? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? We had camera issues, so I can't remember if we. If... Oh, so yeah, cup noodle. So, no, it was not like that. that form that we have now mm-hmm. you know, those like uh, the styrofoam. styrofoam thing right um but obviously when w- they wanted to sell this noodle they had a uh, chicken noodle mm-hmm. uh, overseas so they took it to american buyer and american buyer um you know you guys don't have those bowls or chopsticks so obviously he or she broke it broke that dry noodle mm-hmm. and put it in a paper cup and ate with a fork. And then and people, just nishin, like, oh, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how we should sell. So it's actually not an original Japanese idea to put it in the cup. It's they got from foreigners a, right, and then came back. Idea and then... from yeah, mm-hmm. American buyer. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> but before we go on, we want to thank another sponsor, Audible. Hey. You got to visit audiblepodcast.com slash japancast, and you can get a free audiobook. Mm-hmm. And I had a pick this week. This one is for you history buffs. It's called Midway, The Battle That Doomed Japan, The Japanese Navy's Story. And this is written by Mitsuo Fuchida and Masatake ok- Okumiya. Mm-hmm. They were two naval aviators during the war. So um, Fuchida led the first strike on Pearl Harbor, mm-hmm. and Okumiya was Jap- uh, Japan's first dive bomber pilot. Mm-hmm. So they write about the Battle of Midway and mm-hmm. from their perspective what happened. 
And one of the reviewers wrote, this is edge of your seat history. It's not boring statistics. It's not like a history class. It's mm. really, really neat told from two naval aviators point of view. So, I'm interested. That's really, really cool sounding book. So go to audible podcast slash or audiblepodcast.com mm. slash Japancast and you can pick any free book you want. This is my pick this week. Check it out. And I think, uh, what do we have next? Uh, mail? Mm -hmm. All right, coming up next, Japancast Mailbag. Right.